I have a twin brother, and growing up when we did, we ended up playing a lot of arcade games co-op. One of the games we played most was the 1985 classic dungeon crawler Gauntlet. And today's Flashback Friday game is a good reminder that no matter how much you think you might know about classic gaming, there can still be great surprises out there. Dark Chambers was released simultaneously for the Atari 7800 and 2600 in 1988, a few years after Gauntlet. But in fact, Dark Chambers can be seen as Gauntlet's predecessor. The reason is because Dark Chambers is itself an updated version of the game Gauntlet is based on. And both Dark Chambers and the 1983 Atari computer game in question called Dandy were made by the same person, John Howard Palevik. About the only thing I like more than video games is Dungeons and Dragons, so it's surprising to me I'd not heard of Dandy until now. But Dandy, which is a mash of the words Dungeons and Dragons or D&D, essentially created the four-player co-op dungeon crawl you see in Gauntlet and many other games. Dark Chambers isn't exactly like Dandy, but they're very similar. Dark Chambers only supports two players instead of four. In Dark Chambers, you are crawling through an alphabet of dungeon levels, collecting treasures and items, replenishing your health unless you accidentally shoot the food, and picking up keys used to unlock doors to get you to the next level. Constantly spawning enemies of various tiers of difficulty threaten you and shooting a higher tier enemy turns it into a lower tier until the enemy is gone. You need to destroy their spawners to get the attack to stop. Getting touched by an enemy or setting off a trap costs you health, as does moving, albeit slowly. Once you get through level Z, you start back at A with a higher difficulty. This is a high score based game, although getting through to the end is probably the big motivator. You have one life to live, unless you're in two player co-op, in which case the other player shooting a heart item will respawn your friend. I absolutely loved Dark Chambers, and I wish I'd discovered it years ago. Unfortunately, it's one of the games I have yet to pick up for the Atari 2600, which is why I had not encountered it until now. The game is a fast-paced, fun combat, cool mechanics, neat sound, and even good graphics for the time. I think this might be the most fun 7800 game so far released on the VCS. At a mere $3, it's highly recommended. I also recommend that you search for and read the manual online, as it will help you get up to speed on the game more quickly. It's a shame there isn't a manual included in your purchase on the VCF. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, so like if you want to support the channel and subscribe to get these videos in your feed. Have fun!